Hello everyone, welcome to M&M Gaming. I am Mickey. And I'm Mouse. And today we will be playing Dandelion Wishes Brought to You. This now Mouse has played this game before, but I know nothing. So I will let Mouse talk now. <laughs> I've completed two of the ge of the routes for this game, but this was a long time ago, well over a year, so I remember next to nothing on what I did to get said endings. Um, this game is created by a Korean gaming company called Cherries, and they've since this one they've completed two other games. They've done Nameless, which is brought to you, and the popular gaming app called uh, Mystic Messenger. Uh, Mouse knows a lot about that one. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, yeah, base. It's your reverse harem dating sim game. It's very similar to the other games in regarding character appearance and per some personalities, but uh, overall this is a very emotionally trying game because feels are real. And if Mickey has nothing to say, let's begin, I guess. Let's Cross on a green light. Play it safe. Summer! Cutscene! Loading! Busan. I'm probably not pronouncing them correctly. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce Korean cities. Right. Please forgive me. When I came here, everything was so unfamiliar. I'd only lived in Seoul for 18 years, so I was worried whether I'd be able to adapt. At first, I had a hard time understanding the dialect, and I'd often ask people to repeat themselves a number of times. It's been three and a half years since I came here, but Busan dialect is still hard to follow. I came to attend a college in Busan from Seoul. Uh, sometimes people ask me why I didn't choose to attend a college in Seoul. Unlike me, there are many people in Busan who want to go to Seoul. But unlike them, I no longer wanted to stay in Seoul. I couldn't stand my life in Seoul with Mum, who had completely changed after she and Dad got a divorce. It had been three and a half years since I became independent from my mother, but I still lead the same suffocating lifestyle I had in Seoul. A senior majoring in business, an okay TOEIC score. I've no idea what that is. If you do, please tell us in the comments, because we don't know what this is. <laughs> um, and slightly higher than average school grades. I came to Busan to find my dream, but I still have no idea. What do I want to do in life? I came Sleep. to Busan. Yes, yeah, sleep does sound good. I came to Busan to, with that question, but I still haven't been able to find an answer. I'd been living here for three and a half years already. Busan has its big ocean and old buildings. Though people may be a bit rough, they are kind. And I? I have five precious animals in my life that warm up my heart. Cheritsu.
I opened the door and saw a familiar living room. It's been four years since I moved out of my parents' house. When I came back to an empty home with no one to welcome me, I don't feel like doing anything. I should have... I should have just have a light meal, wash up and go to bed. My days are always busy. I wake up... Uh, I can't read, what's going on? I wake up early to go to school and then go to the art club room after class. When I come home, I clean up the house and do laundry. Then I do my school assignments. And when the hectic weekdays are over and the weekend comes around, I meet up with my school friends for lunch and head, the, and head to the English Cram School. And Mickey's back! I apologize. <laughs> the word busy has become a way of life for me. I'm busy today. I have to go to the Cram School. I have to impress the professors. I have to get an A plus in every in this class. I always make sure that all my school assignments are done perfectly and turn them in by the deadline. And I actively participate in the school's art club. And despite my busy schedule, I make sure to invest some of my time to study English in order to raise my TOEIC score. Some people tell me that I live my life to the fullest. I always thank them, but hearing that doesn't really make me happy. Tomorrow should be another busy day. I have a morning full of classes, and I should study at the library during lunch. And then class again, and I'll probably go to the art club room to work on my paintings. Dark room, same old every day. When I lie down on the bed, many thoughts occur to me. I live such a busy life. In others' eyes, my life is probably full of activities that are useful and helpful. But why? Why do I not feel alive? There are many people in Korea who lead a similar life to mine, and there are certainly those whose lives are even more busier and more stressful. But unlike me, they're proud of their life, of the fact that they are busy and enthusiastically plan out their lives. You didn't even get the, in the top of your class! S sending you to an expensive cram school doesn't even help you at all! Study harder! This isn't good enough! If you take a break when everyone else does, you'll just end up being one of them. I don't know what you're telling to that. I don't know now. The painful memories of my past are suffocating me. I can't get rid of the cold expression on Mum's face from my thoughts. The expression which seems to say, only your report card represents your value. I can still vividly remember Mum's face when she told me that- Oh, hello, I'm being messaged. Okay. <laughs> that I can- that I was no use because my grades weren't good enough. But still, I am living the life as I did when I was with Mum. It's not as stressful as it was in Seoul, but even when I'm still leading a busy life, I have no idea why I'm here and why I'm doing these things. I went to attend a college outside of Seoul and joined an art club. I have friends who aren't really friends, and I struggle to get an A plus in all my classes. None of these are what I wanted. In fact, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Me too, darling. I have no idea what I'm working so hard for. How can I find my calling? How can I learn to enjoy what I do? No one taught me these things. <sighs> Very long intro. Who are you? Mickey's turn, finally. The wizard! Here I am, standing here again. Will you meet me? Honestly, I didn't see that much fun in the last game. This time, I will expect it to be a bit more. Skype full on lags just then. You can just pause and everything for a minute. <laughs> Damn, Skype, don't, don't do that to me. I'm full on freaked out. Da, da, da. You're, yeah, you're doing black hat. This is black hat. Okay, so I will be filling in for our friend Charlie who could not join us at the moment. Yes. Meow. Hmm? 
What work? What Mark? What woke me up was not the alarm clock that said at 7 a.m. <laughs> Shush! You mock up? <laughs> but the sound of a cat? No way! Can't I don't even. Up. I don't even have a cat. I must have been really tired yesterday. <laughs> I remembered going to bed last night without taking a shower and felt a bit grossed out, and my hair felt oily too. I should get up and take a shower. I looked at the wall to see the time. It's six thirty-six. Meow. Huh? What was that? Hmm. I closed my eyes and opened them again. Meow. Huh? Meow! Meow! This isn't a dream. There was a big basket next to my bed, and inside that basket... <sighs> Cats and rabbits?! What? Who? How? The animals? Who brought them into my room?! Wait! Wait, before that, who broke into the house? Someone must have come into the house when I was sleeping. The windows are locked. How could someone have come in? I scanned the room quickly, but saw no signs of intrusion. I must call the police. Uh, but first the animals. Oh no! How many of them are there? Two cats and three rabbits. A total of five. Basic math. What am I supposed to do with five animals? Um, no. No, I must regain my composure. I should call the police first. These animals don't belong to me. Hello? Is this the police? Someone broke into my house and abandoned some animals here. Yes. Things have disappeared? Huh? Oh, I don't think anything's stolen. Everything's left untouched and the windows unlocked. The tone of the police officer over the phone suddenly changed. Excuse me? Yes, I live alone. No, no, I'm the only one with the key. No, this isn't a prank! I'm not even sure what happened. I just woke up and found a basket next to my bed with five animals inside. I was telling the truth, but the officer wouldn't believe me. If this isn't a prank, ask your neighbors or something. W wait! I desperately tried to stop the officer from hanging up. Can you at least take care of the animals? Someone definitely abandoned them. I turned to look at the animals. All five of them were staring at me. Why? So why? Why were they all looking at me like that? Yeah, yeah, the address is... Come to think of it, it's a bit strange that rabbits and cats are sitting together so peacefully. Are cats normally this well behaved? No. Tomorrow? The police officer told me that people from the animal shelter can't come until tomorrow. But that means I have to take care of them today. He, would, he wouldn't believe the fact that someone had broken in. It seemed that no one would come for an investigation. Asking the police to believe me is not something I can do easily. And I don't even have the courage to plead him either. Yes. Thank you, sir. <sighs> someone surely came into the house. What on earth is going on? I went over to where the basket is. Was. Grandma. Let's pick an animal, Nikki! This could not possibly go wrong in any way. Pick an animal! Pick an animal, any animal. Except for the black cat. I get my top hat, but I don't know where it is. Eeny, meeny, miny, meow. The kitten with bright eyes. Yeah. <laughs> the kitten with bright orange fur was looking at me with sparkling eyes. Look how sparkly his eyes are. He's so cute. He's a real cutie pie. We're all going to die. The small white baby rabbit was sitting right next to the bigger one as if he's scared. Is that a mum and her baby? But the colours are different. The smaller rabbit was as white as snow. Eeny meeny miny mo The big rabbit was calmly staring at me. 
The color of his fur is silver. Wait, silver rabbit? Is this sort of extinct species? Oh, you can't use one. Brown spotted rabbit. He seems a little different from the rest of the animals. He's trying to keep a distance from the rest of the animals in that small basket. He doesn't look like a Korean breed. And black cat. The black cat looks ill-tempered. The rest of them are cute. This cat doesn't look that cute. And it kept staring at me as if it had something to say. Meow. I'm hungry. There you go. I'm not actually gonna legit scream. <laughs> the cat just talked. Am I hearing things? No, I'm sure I heard it. Meow. Are you making him French? It sounds like you're making him French. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard something. I glared at the black cat. <laughs> Meow. Yeah, you're making your French. <laughs> I'm not, I swear. <laughs> Don't turn him into Eric. I won't turn him into Eric. <laughs> the black cat stared back. Maybe I really am hearing things. I sighed. I must be really tired if that is the case. I should at least feed the animals. They will be with me until tomorrow. I was surprised, but the animals are probably even more surprised. They must have felt really nervous to wake up in the morning and find that they were abandoned by their owner in, uh, in an unfamiliar place. As I headed to the living room, the black cat jumped over the basket and followed me behind. The orange kitten, silver rabbit, white rabbit, and spotted rabbit followed as well. Here, eat this. I put in some bread and lettuce in a large salad bowl and put it down on the floor. I also put some cereal in a bowl for myself and poured milk into it. When was the last time that I had a decent meal? I'm always spacing out while eating my cereals for breakfast, but the animals perked me up this morning. Meow. <laughs> huh? What? As I looked up, I looked up and spotted the black cat inside the salad bowl along with the food. Did he just fall in the salad bowl while eating? So silly. <laughs> I laughed at how silly he looks. <sighs> when was the last time that I laughed like this? Daddy, I made this donut with mommy. Mommy told me the donut is pretty. Maybe I should open up a Your donut shop lied. when I grow up. Wanna do that? You donut. <laughs> I'm not going to accept that. I want glazed donuts. <laughs> I want glazed donuts. Uh, by the way, what's the time? 7:40? Oh no! I'm going to be late for class. Oh gosh, drink. <laughs> Yay. The hectic morning classes are all over. I can't remember what I learnt in class today. I always take perfect notes and never miss anything the professors say. But I was worried about the animals at home. And also, I was bothered by my messy hair and makeup, which I hurriedly put on before coming to school. I went to the restroom to straighten myself up and then headed to the art club room. Hi guys! And I will be filling in for Charlie once again. What accent did we give this guy? The chicken man? Uh, <laughs> the reason why we call him chicken man is because he's, he's, he's the bad ending character. Where you get an ending that's called... Spoilers. Cool. Yeah, spoilers. It, he's, yeah, he's a bad ending character and you'll find out why because we'll probably get his bad ending at some point. I think... I actually can't remember what we gave him. I don't know. Just I think Charlie just gave him like an 
a generic voice. Yeah, I think you did. Also, I just realized, the yellow bits on his sleeves, I don't know why, but they remind me of, like, a chicken's wings. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Alright, uh, whenever you're going. No, he did not say that. Huh? No. Proper English, please. <laughs> Proper English, please, Mickey. Hey, he Jun. I'm sorry if I butchered the Korean as well. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to. Please tell us. Someone's Please tell us. Oh, hello, that's one of my friends on Steam. I didn't turn the thing off. Shit. Sugar. Well Hang on. Wait a second. Donuts. Wait. Do, do, okay, do, 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 As I opened do, do. the door and greeted everyone, a guy sitting in front of a canvas smiled at me. There you go. Ah. Is something wrong? What's with the sign? Yeah, what's with the sign, Patasio? <laughs> Why are you sighing? He J asked me with a concerned look on his face. His name is He J Kim. He's he's a junior, and we're in the same club, and we even go to the same cram school together. I call stalker. Yeah, pretty much. I'd say so too. He J, are you interested in raising pets by any chance? She wants to have a baby with you. <laughs> Huh? Why do you suddenly ask? You're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I have to get rid of the animals so I can get back to normal life. If you want that's to... What, if that's what they call them these days. Just let me know. Which do you like better? Rabbits or cats? Or dogs. It's not that I don't like animals, but I have allergies. I call BS on that. <laughs> I don't think I can. He J shook okay. his. He J shook his head. Why must he have every single allergy that exists? Like jelly. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> jelly facts. <laughs> jelly facts. All right. Anyway, who on earth is? Who, who on earth is left animals in my room? I'm already busy preparing for my graduation. But why do you ask I want pets all of a sudden? Are you really pregnant? Someone left five animals in my house. What? Really? I'm sorry, but I can't remember what it is, what's it called when you have five babies at once. Uh, a miracle. Quintuplets? I think. Maybe. We're probably wrong. Yeah, they broke into my room. What? <laughs> he just sprung to his feet. Is that even possible? No, wait, are you alright? So special. <laughs> A little bit. Yes, I called the police and people from the animal shelter will come tomorrow to pick them up. No, no, I mean, did that person steal anything, or do anything to... This guy is creepy, that's let it be the, known. That's the weird part, the house is fine, there's nothing stolen, and no open door or windows. I need to meet this guy, he's got to teach me a few things. <laughs> but other than that, are you okay too? I'm fine. And this must be what people call... The perfect crime! Well done, I'm so sad you can't see him right now, he's so into this. I'm not so sure. It doesn't make any sense. It, it's like magic. I've got the mag- I can't see if this is a but he's it not, work. Okay, you can't see, but he's just stuck a mask on his face and completely muffled everything. Hmm. This should be the 8th unexplained mystery of the world. Jar a circle, that's the uh... end. <laughs> By the way, what are they? Puppies? Three, three rabbits and 
two cats. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Rabbits and cats. Together. Yeah, and they're all I different. Know what to cook. <laughs> one of the rabbits is silver, the other one, another one's spotted, the third one's white, and he's a little baby. He's small and cute, like me. Silver? There is such a thing as a silver rabbit. Maybe someone dyed it. Who would dye a rabbit? I know, that's animal cruelty! It's well, also called testing hair products, apparently. Well, I don't think so. Anyway, he's really unique. One of the cats is bright orange, and he has huge eyes and looks really cuddly. The another one's black, but he's not that cute. I see. Wow. Anyway. Who would be so heartless? You know, we're five animals at once. Now, rabbit and cats together too. I feel sorry for those dogs. <laughs> It was such dog people, I swear to <laughs> I know, there aren't many people who raise cats and rabbits together. And live to tell the tale. Blum, blum, blum. We know what happened to Charlie. <gasps> so what are they going to do with them? Send them to the animal shelter. Yeah, I can't raise them. Someone nice will adopt them, I'm sure. Who would adopt rabbits and cats? People usually prefer dogs, don't they? Well, Mickey does. Well, there's oh, there's that guy in the kitchen. Oh, oh my god! Good night, everybody. Wow! Come to think of it. Cats are usually considered bad luck in Korea. I wonder why that is. I'm really curious. And therefore not and therefore not popular as pets. It is also not common for rabbits to be adopted from shelters. I'm also curious of why. And if they're not ad oh it's you, sorry. And if they're not adopted, don't they usually euthanize in a euthanize a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a them. I've heard that that's the case for more than half of the abandoned animals. What about the other half? No, I think those are the ones that get. I think those are the ones that get adopted. Euthanize? But those little animals have done nothing wrong. I don't particularly like animals, but I never understood this. They are put to sleep just because they're abandoned. What rights do we humans have to decide that? I can feel myself getting sad. There's no justice. But you can't take care of all of them by yourself. You can't help it. TJ's right. Oh, can you? Being as busy as I already am, I don't have time to take care of animals. We will make time! The plot of this game says otherwise. The plot demands it! <laughs> the plot demands <laughs> <laughs> I graduate next semester, and I have to be ready to find employment. Anyway, I wonder who left those animals in your room. I hope someone nice adopts them at the shelter. Plot says otherwise. <laughs> really? Who left them in my room? The strange thing is that there was no sign of any intrusion into my room. One thing's for sure, that someone did indeed break in to leave one of them in my room. Not, not one of them, like left, the entire- Left, left just one, <laughs> one, the rest somehow just got in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I messed up! But everything in the room was was left unchanged, and since I live on the fifth floor, it's impossible for someone to come through the window. Or the wall! A challenge. Is that a challenge? What do you love <laughs> Even the door was locked properly. This is really weird. I said oh, goodbye it's to that time again. I said goodbye to Heijie and nervously went home because I could not concentrate on painting while thinking about the animals. Up, oh, it's that time again. Oh, it's that time! Oh! Yes, it is that time! Will of Morality! Dun dun dun! <laughs> oh, dang it! Okay, so we've run out of time for this episode. Thank you for Mickey for keeping track for me, as always. Um. 
yeah, if you like this video, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and feel free to subscribe for more content. I am Mouse. Oh, not your choice. Yes, all that's Mickey. completely up to you, we won't judge. Um, and yeah. we're sort of getting to the hang of this, we're pretty bad at this, but nah. We're still figuring this whole YouTube thing out. But yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're working with what we have. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe for more content or not, we won't judge. Any more words, Mickey? Don't jump off a cliff. Don't do that either. <laughs> That's dangerous. Yeah, okay. And, well, we'll see you in the next video, I guess, guys. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.